guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I created this look for you using the one and only Anastasia Prism palette, which I'm obsessed with. I'm actually surprised at how much I love this palette. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. If you are debating whether to pick it up, just run, don't walk, run. <laughs> I really, really love this palette. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got a whole new lighting set, uh, set up over here for my YouTube channel. Thanks to George, thank you so much. Baby, I love you. Um, so let me know how you th feel about that. I think the lighting looks so, so much better. So yeah, if you wanna learn how to get this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, diving right in. We're gonna use Tempera from the Modern Renaissance palette. And that's just gonna go under the brow bone to blend out the crease colors. And then I'm gonna go in with Lure from the Prism palette. And this is going in the outer crease. It's like a dusty mauve pink. Then I'm going into Sphere, which looks like a bright canary yellow, but in real life, it actually goes on a lot lighter. And this is gonna go right above Lure, kind of like a peekaboo peek color. Now I'm going into Eden and Saturn, which are both peachy colors. The first one is Eden, and this is like a salmon-y color. This I'm bringing all the way into the brow. And then I'm going in with a dense brush and going into Saturn, and that's going in the inner crease. On camera, it's showing up really like fiery Cheeto orange. In real life, it does not look like that unless you want it to, um, but I don't know. Anyway, back to Modern Renaissance, I'm going into Love Letter, which is like a bright hot pink color, and that's going right in between those shades. And then I went back into Saturn just to blend it out and kind of bring back that intensity. Now, going into Throne and Dimension, which is my favorite two colors from the palette, I'm gonna get a little Real Techniques brush and I'm going into Throne. And this, I'm gonna kind of start creating a wing shape on the outer corners of my eyes. I actually dampened my brush with a little water. And then I'm kind of dragging this out in a wing shape, but losing pressure up on my brush as I go out so that it fades and packing that shadow out. Going into Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC, I'm gonna kind of carve out the inner corners of my eyes, almost like a cut crease, just cause I want this to be very, very light. That way the shadow I put on there pops. I'm gonna go right on top of that with the mention. And I just patted that right on top. Now in between the two colors, I'm gonna blend them out so that there's a nice fade ingredient using the Real Techniques brush. Then I go in with an angled brush and I'm gonna kind of create almost like a sharp cut right in the crease above the dimension color with that same throne color. Taking a little Q-tip and rolling it with some makeup remover just to fade out the corners. I'm taking the black color in this palette and I'm gonna go in right on the top socket and on the bottom, almost like eyeliner with the same angled brush. This is Lucid, it's a beautiful dual chrome shadow and that I'm packing right in the inner corners and bringing it up so into the orangey colors. NYC Liquid Liner, still one of my favorites. And this liner I want thin in the inner corner, thick towards the middle and thin on the outside. It gives you that nice swooshy shape. And then I'm gonna go when I have like barely any liner on my brush and doing the top part. This is Urban Decay's Distortion Glitter Liner. I love this liner. And I'm making sure I don't have too, too much on my brush and kind of fading it on top of both colors. And then this is just my brush that I use for concealer and I'm kind of blending out the orange color. I'm going into NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and Tarte's Maracuja Oil. I did a nice mix of both of them and putting that on with the Real Techniques blending sponge. Any beauty sponge will work with this. I love this concoction because I still get coverage, but it just looks more dewy and I just love it. When I know I'm gonna go in with the powder, I do this mixture. I was singing as always. <laughs> so this is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm using the color Honey, which is very, very light. And I'm using that to kind of contour out my nose and brighten up underneath the eyes. And then I blend that out, okay? And make the outer corners of the shadow nice and sharp. And then on top of that, I go into Soft Matte Complete Concealer, my favorite concealer, with a fluffy brush towards the inner corners. And that's gonna kind of correct any darkness I have. 
Now I'm kind of baking, but not I'm not pressing this too, too hard with the powder puff. And that's to catch any fallout from the shadow. So I go into Eden, the peachy color, Saturn, the bright orange. And then this one is parallel. I'm using parallel to smoke out the inner corners with the pencil brush. And now with a damp pencil brush, I'm going back into Throne and connecting it to the outer corners. This is Max um, engraved eyeliner and I'm really heavily lining my waterline. And I'm bringing in Lucid all the way down now I'm just knocking off the bake with a uh, Max Studio Scope powder. This is NARS Laguna Bronzer. My usual, I love Laguna Bronzer. You cannot go wrong with it. I'm using that to give some color and warmth to my face. Then I'm gonna go into this crown brush and there's a blush by MAC called Taupe. And that I'm using to contour out my nose. I just wanted a really snatched nose since I'm doing this wing shape on my eyes. And then I'm going to contour out the tip. Look at that, snatched. <laughs> then I added Pure Cosmetics eyelashes in Bombshell. These lashes are everything. Um, this is Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. If you want like a blinding, blinding glazed donut highlight, I definitely recommend getting this highlighter. You need so little bit of it and it's just gorgeous. I like applying it with little brushes like this one. Did that to the cheekbones, bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, but not too much. And uh, I don't like to look like Rudolph. Getting right on top of the cupid's bow. I love to apply a lot of highlighter right here. Makes your lips look nice and full and sexy. And then this is Tarte's Amazonian Clay Blush in Feisty. It's a nice burnt coral or burnt salmon kind of a color. Um, I'm using that with a 168 from MAC, by the way. I'm doing that more on the back of the cheekbones. This is NARS Audacious Lipstick in Raquel that I absolutely forgot to apply lipstick for some reason. <laughs> um, but it's a perfect nude, like a peachy, sexy nude. And it looks good on all skin tones, even much deeper or very fair. It looks beautiful. This is Dose of Colors Over the Top Lip Gloss from the Desi X Katie Collection. Unfortunately, you can't buy this anymore, but any clear lip gloss with a little gold shine will do. Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray, and I'm focusing that right on top of the highlights, and then a little bit down the center of the face. And then what I like to do is take my sponge and kind of blot on top so there's no water droplets all over the face. And that's it, you got your beat face. If you have any requests, please leave them down below. All right, guys, that completes the tutorial. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I can't believe I've hit over 600 subscribers, which is a huge milestone for me, honestly. I'm really, really happy about that. And make sure you hit the notification bell down below. That'll let you know every single time that I upload a new video. Also, let me know if you want a tutorial on this hair style that I created. I kind of tried to do that wet look trend that you're seeing this is fake hair honey the, the whole, i do not have these inches naturally and i also didn't want to put that much heat to my hair um so let me know if you do want to see a tutorial on that look thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time